Hello everybody, um, State 7 here. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cool soft shadow kind of 3D um, text effects in Photoshop, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, let's get started. Uh, here I have a simple setup, nothing special. Uh, background and a text layer. Um, Let's uh, first of all duplicate the text layer two times. So we have three copies. Let's call the first one shadow. And let's call the second one light. And let's call the upper one brim light. Oops, a mistake. Brim light. Okay. Let's start with the shadow first. First of all, we need a, a background color. Let's make it uh, kind of this very light bluish tint, something like that. Okay, cool. Uh, first of all, uh, turn the fill opacity to zero. Oops, the text disappeared, no problem. Uh, in order for this effect to work, you need the uh, Photoshop CC or later because we can make multiple uh, stacks of the drop shadow because it's based on the drop shadow layer style. Let's work with the first copy. Um, the, we assume that the light is coming from this area right here. So the shadow is going to be right here. So let's use uh, 45 degrees. Uh, for the first copy, let's make the distance 5 and the size 5. Uh, for the color, let's uh, mm, let's keep it. No, let's use a same tint of blue but uh, lightly, uh, not 100% black, kind of like this. Okay, let's make it 30. Okay, hit the plus button to duplicate the drop shadow effect. Now we got a second one. Let's change the distance to 10 and the size to 10. Also change the opacity to something like 25. Let's duplicate it one more time. Let's change the distance to 20 and the size to 20. And also let's bring down the opacity to about 20%. Let's duplicate it again. So now we have four copies. Let's change the distance to 40 and the size to 40. So we already kind of get in this uh, soft shade kind of effect. Let's duplicate the drop shadow one more time and make it like a super soft. Let's make a distance, I don't know, 80 and the size 80 and change to the opacity to something like 15. Okay, now we're done with the shadow. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna work with the with the light. Let's copy the layer style. Let's copy the shadow layer style and and paste it to the light layer. layer. I know this doesn't make any sense right now, but let's. I'm gonna we're gonna change the uh, the direction and the color of the uh, of the shadow so it acts like a, a bounce uh, light or something like that. Let's hide them. And let's turn them uh, one by one. First of all, let's change the direction to not minus 45, no. 145 plus 180, okay. So it's uh, 225, so it's coming from this area. Let's change the color to white. Change the blend mode to normal. <clears throat> uh, let's keep everything as it is. We go, we go to the second copy of the drop shadow same thing change the color to white change the, the angle to 225 let's uh yeah again change the color to white change the angle to 225 okay change the color to normal forget choose the color to blend mode to normal again Change the color to white, the blend mode to normal, angle 225. 
Okay, the last copy. Change the color to white, the blend mood to normal. And voila! And if you reveal the shadow, now it makes sense. Now let's give it a, a very thin, like a highlight reflection. Okay. Change the fill to zero. Double click to enable the layer styles. This time we're gonna work with the uh, inner shadow. Okay, let's turn this on and zoom in a bit. Okay. Let's change the color to white, pure white. I don't know, let's keep it at uh, add. Change the angle to 45. I believe that's a bit too much. Let's turn it down to 50. Let's, uh, for the distance, let's make two. Or for the size, let's keep it at one. Let's give it a duplicate. Hit the plus button to duplicate it. For this copy, we're gonna change this to the same kind of uh, blue tint shadow color. Let's change the blend mode to multiply. And for the angle, let's make it 225. Very thin shadow. But for the distance, let's keep let's keep it at one. Okay. Here you go. That's the overall effect. Let's uh, put the text layer inside a folder by hitting Control J, Control G, excuse me. And let's give it that uh, bluish, slight bluish tint. Go to a color, and uh, I don't know. Let's um, let's use a photo filter. Why not? I've never used it in a long time. Let's use a uh, cooling filter. Oh, I don't like that. Let's um, use the color, color balance, yes, that's it. Go to the shadows. In the yellow blue slider, increase this amount to about, I don't know, 30, 29, 30. let's make it 30. And let's uh, decrease the cyan red to about, I don't know, 25, yeah, that's okay. Go to the highlights, increase the blue a tiny bit. Just a little bit, let's make it, I don't know, 5, and give it a little bit of cyan. And let's go to the mid-tones, I don't know, that's um, probably 5% on the blue, and minus, I don't know, that's too much, minus. It's a matter of taste, in fact, but anyway, the effect is done. Let's give it a snapshot. Boom. There we go. That's it, guys. The effect is done. If you don't want to repeat all these steps, I made an easy to edit PSD template where you can easily change the text or even answer your logo with some pre made filters. Uh, this template is available on my Gumroad shop, it's on sale. Uh, if you want to support me, you can get it. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one, peace.